Are you surprised? I told you that Mela is money. Are you surprised? I told you that Mela is money. S A B O L O U S. Yeah, yeah. This is interesting. Welcome. Welcome. This is boy Ace here. And welcome to Afternoon's Delight. Now, Let's get into this one, because if, if I, look, how many of y'all, first of all, how many of y'all watched uh, on SmackDown, how many of y'all thought Natalia had a chance of winning that Elimination Chamber qualifier match? Raise your hands. Anybody think, think she was going to win? Now, there were some people that wasn't surprised that she won because it's going to be in Canada, right? She's from Canada, so she gets a chance to get that pop from the Montreal crowd. Which, which is a good business decision, you know, to kind of connect her with those fans. Now, how many of y'all also watch NXT and y'all watch those two really surprising results in the tag team division on the men's and women's side? Where, on one hand, we had uh, the tag team of uh, Gallus beating New Day to take their titles in their Fatal 4-Way in uh, Pretty Deadly and Chase U. Then we had another surprising result with Fallon Henley and Kiana James beating Katana Chance and Caden Carter. So the surprises continue. So let's get to it. Because this was a shocker, okay? Piper Niven faced Candice Ray, Mishin, and Carmella in a Women's Elimination Chamber qualifying match for, guess who, Bianca Belair's Raw Women's Championship, probably at WrestleMania, right? So... It's a sort of like a it's like a mini Royal Rumble. Um so the other ladies, they're set. You know, the other ladies that we got in the match, they're set. Natalia, Liv Morgan, uh, I believe it's Raquel Rodriguez and Connor, right? They're all set. Um, Connor and who else was it? Uh Nikki Cross. So they're all in there. We just need to find out who's gonna win here. So Let's get to the end of the match, towards the end of the match. So, Carmella was talking a lot of trash. Piper Niven was looking powerful in this match. Every time she had a spot where she was, uh, you know, killing these women to death in the match. And we had some one-on-one -on -one counters with LeRae and Misha that was pretty good. But they were playing a story where Candice and Misha was kind of like having respect for each other. And there was one point where Misha had to break up the count, like, Candice Ray had a had a pinfall, and she broke up the count. And Candice Ray looked frustrated at her, like, "Why would you do that?" But she has to realize, like Corey Grace is saying, it's every woman for themselves, right? So let's get to this point. Larray hit Nevin with a missile drop kick, and then followed up with a lion saw. But Mishin broke up the pin. This is what we was talking about. Nevin came back with a black hole slam on Mishin, which would have pinned her. But Larray broke it up. Carmella snuck in and rolled up LeRae for a two count. Now, Carmella put the boots to LeRae and then moonwalked. And so, this was an interesting spot because Carmella and Niven both performed moves on LeRae in the corner. So, Niven gave her uh, that roll that she usually does in the corner, right? And then, this was surprising. Carmella then super kicked Niven, which took her out. And then, since LeRae was still out, she covered her for the pin. So, yes! Carmella ended up winning the match, bro. In almost 10 minutes, this match went. She wins. Carmella didn't do 
Carmella didn't do too much in this match at all, like, into the end. I think Carmella played the smart game. She didn't tire herself out. She was kind of, you know, taking a lot of, you know, shots, getting taken out of the ring and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, she's the most freshest competitor in the ring. She was clearly energized. She saw an opportunity towards the end. And she seeked it. And she got it, bro. I was shocked. Okay? Now, obviously, those of you who were voting in my poll earlier, you guys were in shock. Because 57% of y'all, landslide. Thank you for the votes, and by the way. This was 1,200 votes. <laughs> 1,200 votes, bro. And it's only been like 16 hours on this poll. 77 likes. Huge turnout for this poll. Carmella. Landslide, 57%. Misha, surprisingly, came in second with 17. Candice LeRae and Piper Niven tied each other with 13. But I see that the bar is a little bit more in favor of Piper. My favorite for this match, Piper Niven. I thought Piper Niven was going to win. She looked like the strongest competitor. She just Her character just been rebooted. I'm like, okay, this is probably Piper's game. It's probably Piper's game. Carmella wins. That is an interesting win. That is an interesting win. And so it's got me thinking some things now. And you guys voted for her. 77 likes, by the way. Now, I don't know if y'all voted for it cause, just because y'all like Carmella. I don't see that's my only problem. Sometimes in a poll, people just like people. Did y'all really think Carmella was winning though? Like, if y'all watching this video, let me know in the comments. Say, Did you really think Carmella was winning? And what told you? Carmella was going to win because I had I I didn't I did not think she was winning at all. I did not think she was winning, but it makes things interesting now. We're gonna talk about that on the flip side of this. So I can wrap this video up. Give me your thoughts. Like I said, answer that question for me, or whatever reaction I got to this. Let me know. Was y'all shot that one of the other girls didn't win? Let me know. And I'll come back to wrap it up. Okay, you guys, make sure y'all going ahead and hit the like button. Comment and share the video. Also, make sure you guys also donate to the channel by hitting the thanks button below, or you can hit up the Cash App Dollar Sign Sack Exchange to send any donation to the Cash App. Here are the top donators, and you can fit yourself in this list at any time if you donate at least two dollars or more. Thank you. So, like I said, this is uh this is interesting, right? This is interesting. This is interesting. Like I said, very interesting. Because now it's got me thinking a little bit different about this, right? Now, I'm expecting Kana to win. I think Kana got a lot of momentum. That is my winner for this Elimination Chamber. I think she's got it. But could they realistically do Carmella against Bianca Belair? Because I'm telling you what. She's a heel right now. I think that'd be a pretty good beef. I think that'd be a pretty good beef. And if Bianca Bella, because shout out to my man, uh, King Mike, bro. He been saying maybe they should start a WrestleMania streak for Bianca Belair. So if Bianca Belair wins that mania, the perfect person to take the fall will be Carmella. Carmella doesn't have to win that match. She's already established. She could take a loss. And then that way, Kana doesn't have to lose to her. Have Kana beat Bianca Belair the night after um, WrestleMania. So on Raw, the night after Mania, Kana beats Bianca Belair for the title. I think that'd be pretty good, right? That way, Kana doesn't suffer a loss. But I still think that'd be a pretty good feud against Bianca Belair, Kana, and Bianca Belair. They have a history. They used to be friends. So. But, man, Carmella against Bianca Belair sounds a little bit interesting to me. That sounded interesting to me. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts, man. We're going to get into this a little deeper later. Thank y'all for watching. After News Delight.